Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this tutorial, we'll be showing you how to use the multi-layer feature in CapCut. This powerful editing tool allows you to work with multiple videos and audio layers to create complex and dynamic videos. So let's dive into it and get started. I'm going to open up the CapCut app. Now first you need to open up the video that you want to edit in CapCut. You can either import a video from your phone's gallery or capture a new video by using the CapCut's built-in camera. And you need to make sure that the video that you are choosing is the background of the video. Let me show you what I'm telling you. I'll choose this video. Yeah, this one looks good. And I'm going to add this. Now if you want to add another video in the new layer, you can use the overlay option. Just tap on it and tap on add overlay. You can choose another video that you want to add. For example, I'll choose this one. I'm going to tap on add. And there you have it. Now you have these two layers. This one is the background and this one is the above one. You can change its position just by moving it with your finger. You can also increase the speed of this by using this option. Just go back. If you want to increase or decrease the volume, you can use this slider. You can preview the video just by playing it. You see if I just grab it from here and place it right here, the video will start from here at this point. You can add the animation to this video just by tapping on it and then tap on animation. You can use the fade in effect and increase the time of the fade. You can add multiple layers again by just tapping on the add overlay and choose multiple videos. There are multiple layers that you can choose and add. You can use the fingers to increase or decrease its size. Now let's preview our video. You can simply just tap on this bank icon and again. And after you have added and edited your layers, you can preview it from a video just by tapping on play button. If you need to make some further adjustment to it, you can always go back to the multi layer editor and make some changes. And once you're happy with the video, it's time to export it and share it. You can simply just here select the resolution of the video from here and the frame rates and then tap on export. And once it's exported, you can share it directly from the CapCut to any other social media platform, for example, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube as well. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found this tutorial helpful in creating more dynamic and creative videos. If you have any questions regarding this, do let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you like this video, make sure to leave thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.